We welcome our audience, hallelujah, today's session on, on part two of the Spirit of Faith. It's the Spirit of Faith. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, now that we are, uh, we listen to part one, now part two, hallelujah, we want to go deeper what the Spirit of Faith is, hallelujah. Amen. Say faith. Faith. Is ability. To hear from God. To hear from God. And act on the word. And act on the word. What he speaks. Faith. Let's come to Genesis chapter 1. That's all, that's all he began. The Father spoke. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. The Spirit of God moved. Say moved. Moved. Upon the face of what? The waters. The, the world was chaotic. Everything was a mess. Mm. And the Spirit of God moved. Same to you and I. Before we were born again, everything was a mess. When we repent, the Lord imparted the Spirit of faith into our heart to receive Jesus Christ. Because we are saved. By grace, through what? Faith. faith. See how grace and faith work together? Amen. See, grace is not merit and favor. Yes. Grace is not struggle. <laughs> we understand faith, understand grace, you can move in the spirit of faith. Yes. The spirit of grace and the spirit of faith, they go hand in hand, come from the same source, the Holy Spirit. Amen. See? And the spirit of the Lord moved upon the face of the waters. And how can God say? He said, verse 3, And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. See? Let there be light, there was what? Light. light. Who manifests the light? The Holy Spirit. Amen. Because the Spirit was already moved up on the face of the before God spoke. Thank you, Lord Jesus. When God spoke, the Holy Spirit manifests. They manifest. Manifest. See? You have to understand, God the Father is the operator. He will bring in charge of everything. He is the source of everything. Amen. Faith, everything comes from. All the goodness of the Lord comes from God the Father. Jesus Christ is now administers. Say administer. Administers. And the Holy Spirit what? Manifest. Say manifest. Manifest. What he hears from God. Jesus. What our responsibility? We are the receivers. Say receivers. Receivers. So I receive through obedience. When I receive, I act on it. Before what? Faith is imparted to me, grace and love and all those is imparted. Well, when the Holy, um, the Holy Spirit responds to the word that you speak, and when Jesus, when the, He gives you that word, just as God had the word said, and said, let there be light, He spoke it and then it, it was. Just as when He gives us the word and we speak that word by faith, it's going gonna, it's gonna to manifest because the Holy Spirit will manifest because you spoke the word that was given to you at that time. And that's acting by faith. You speak the word exactly what God gave you and, and let the um, Holy Spirit manifest that promise from that word. Amen. In Psalm 33. Let's go to Psalm 33. Verse 6. It says, By His word, the Lord Hallelujah. By the word of the Lord. By the word of the Lord, when the heavens made, and all the hosts of them, by the breath of his mouth. Say the breath of his mouth. The breath of his mouth. What's the other for the breath of his mouth? That's the Holy Spirit. Amen. See? All these things was made. The Father planet. He said, I mean that Holy Spirit manifest. Say manifest. Amen. That is why when we ignore the Holy Spirit. Which is close. Because he cannot manifest if he's grieved, if he's vexed, if he's displeased, if you repair against him. The Father and Jesus will be given everything, but the Holy Spirit, if he's not in that equation, nothing manifests. Amen. So what if we do start to struggle strong to their own trade? And that is what to come to fruition. <laughs> See what we need to rely heavily on the Holy Spirit. We need to rely on the Father, yeah. the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. When you understand this, you're not going to what? Do anything to displease the Lord. Yeah. You do things to please and say, please him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Okay. By the breath of his 
mouth of the Holy Spirit. I have been made. You and I are the same thing we are made by the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Job 33, verse 4. Job 33, verse 4. Job 33, verse 4. The Spirit of God has made me, and the breath of the Almighty has given me life. See? The Spirit of God has made me, and the breath of Almighty God has what? Gave me life. So, once you are born again, the Spirit of God is in you. We have a measure of faith, but we have to grow in the faith. Say, grow. Grow. How do you grow? We grow through obedience to His Word. To win obedience. If you are getting the word and you are not doing it, you can grow. Oh yes. See? The more you grow, the more the spirit of grace and spirit of faith is released of your life. Amen. You grow in grace. Both. You grow by faith. Say faith. 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 And your faith becomes stronger. One other way things that as well, we increase in faith is in, in, in the Jude chapter 1, verse 20. Jude. Look at Jude. Prayer, that's what. Well. Build our faith up. Say prayer. Prayer. Pray in the spirit. That's what. The more you pray in tongues, the more you have to build up in you. Amen. 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 Jude, um, chapter 1, verse 20. But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith. Hey, you know what? Most, most holy, holy faith. faith. Where do we get the faith from? From the Holy Spirit. Amen. See? Ye, beloved, these are Christian, bearing up yourself in your most holy, holy faith, praying in what? In the Holy Ghost. See? So when I pray in tongues, I'm bearing myself up. So Christian, that's why there's so much controversy about tongues. People don't speak it, they don't pray in tongues. So they're not better. They become weak Christian. Because the more the Spirit of God is upon you, the easier for you to yield to the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus. When the Spirit of God is not there, you are your own. Amen. Amen. But when the Holy Spirit is there, and there, and there, and there, to please, to cooperate, say cooperate. Cooperate. You must in verse uh, 20. The next verse is this one. Keep yourselves in the love of God. See? See how faith and love go together? Faith with them are love. Keep yourself up in the love of God. How can you love people? Without the Holy Spirit, it's impossible. Amen. See, the Holy Spirit never is what? To love people unconditionally. By faith, by the Spirit of grace, hallelujah. Now, those who have been watching this, if you don't know Jesus, pray this kind of Say, Lord Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus. Forgive us. Forgive, forgive me our sins. Cleanse my heart right now. Cleanse my heart right now. And save me. And save me. And make me your child. And make me your child. Thank you. Thank you. For saving me. For saving me. For imparting. For imparting. The Spirit of faith. Into my heart, into my heart, in my life, in my life, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. And those who are sick, put your hand on your head. We said the word about you. You make hope at the door of the power of the Holy Spirit. We bind the devil away from your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Someone has been through cancer and been healed. Someone has been delivered from that mental confusion. Christ is delivering you, prospering you. Our bodies and our bodies, Lord, is touching them right now and healing. Every joint, every pain, every stiffness is gone in Jesus' name. Jane calls healing of a blood condition. Both people are back and back and back and back. Lord's healing, ear problem, Lord's healing. People have been good up with uh, you ex during Christmas time. And the full of negative side fell upon you. Lord's healing your body, healing your rashes. Your name is Lady, your name is Paul. We want to heal people. Um, there's a person in the audience with Alzheimer's disease. He's healing that person. Alzheimer's. So you. So we are listening to the Catholic brother that she's now with the Father, Pastor Wendy Cross Ministry, Hallelujah, of St. Louis, Missouri, Hallelujah, praying the Lady God. Start to do anything you couldn't do before. Amen. And don't throw medication away. Check with your physician. You are made whole in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Be blessed, 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 blessed. In Jesus' name. Okay, Kakashi, Kakashi, Kakashi.